the camera scroll. Oh. Oh, Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul and welcome to a brand new edition of Five Nights at Tubbyland. So I was completely unaware that there was a that last month that this game got a completely new overhaul being built from the ground up again, but also using the same textures from the previous version that I played. However, I'm going to be doing a blind playthrough of this version because I haven't seen anyone else play this uh, version of the game, just I've seen some screenshots on the Game Jolt page and it actually looks interesting. I heard there's some new stuff in this version of the game and I heard this game was made in collaboration with uh, There's No Stake, who I believe is the person who created the unofficial Tubbyland Act 1 Rebuilt game and the original creator of Five Nights at Tubbyland, Clicky Code or Critolius. And you may know that I had a bit of trouble with the previous version of Tubbyland where Lala would just randomly enter my room and kill me, which kind of stressed me, especially on night six because I was almost at the end of the game. However, I might go back and do night six on the previous version. But anyways, I'm gonna go check out this new version of Tubbyland. Ooh, okay, so Tubbyland en Entertainment, abandoned restaurant, preparing to open once again, looking for night guards, watch the robots, 12 a.m., 6 a.m., monitor cameras and ensure the safety of the four animatronics. Tabuland Entertainment is not responsible for injuries or death. $248 a week. To apply, call 1-888-TUB-TUBLAND. Alright. Can we move on? Oh. oh, do I just have to click? Okay. Oh, let's see what the... Ooh. Ooh. Hello. Hi. So, I guess you're the new security guard until we open up in a couple of weeks, at least. Uh, I'm here to give you some advice regarding your role here in Tubby Land. Uh, I'll try to make this quick. I uh, don't want to distract you from your work. Uh, let's see. Right, so it says here that you used to work at a prison as a security guard, which means I probably don't need to brief you on all the legal mumbo-jumbo that goes on with this kind of job. Granted, I don't think this will be anywhere near as dangerous as that. Hopefully. Uh, that being said, I should get to the actual important stuff. First off, you have your camera system. This is awesome. It should be located on your table somewhere. Probably guessed it already, but you'll be using this to keep track of the building and whatnot, making sure that no one breaks in and stuff. It's really old, but it should still get the job done. Uh, and don't be surprised if there's a ton of interference. Still better than having to do early morning exercises anyway, huh? Okay, next, you have the door to your left. Simply press the big red button, it'll cause the shutter to, well, shut. Uh, we were gonna put one on your right, but due to budget reasons, we couldn't get a second one. Hopefully that shouldn't be too much of a problem, though. Oh, uh, right, uh, we did have another guard before you, however, according to what we know, he had it a lot easier than what you'll probably have to face. It's nothing huge, but just know that the animatronics might activate occasionally. Uh, we started turning them back on and they've been kinda buggy, to say the least. Uh, it shouldn't be too much of a problem, but if you see them, you know, don't panic. Uh, anyway, that's all I have for tonight. Uh, you'll hear from me tomorrow as well. Good night! Okay, see ya. Now, I know that the same phone guy from Tubbyland X1 rebuilt. Oh, oh, my power's going down already. Also, I forgot in the my gameplay of Tubbyland, uh, you click on the poster. I like paper. <laughs> yeah. Forgot to point that out. So apparently you don't have door power anymore, you just have uh, power. So I'm gonna try not to use it up. Okay. What? Oh, never mind. Just worried a bit. I'm not entirely sure if I... Oh. Oh, hi. Okay, Lala's moving. Will I hear Lala at the door, or will I have to go and quickly close the door? I really hope they've... I really hope they fixed the bug with her instantly killing me. Because... 
That's a problem I had in the last game. Well, the last version of this. Like, I am impressed. I like how the... The, um... The office scrolls and, you know... How the camera scroll... Oh! Huh. <gasps> what the hell?! <laughs> Poe cycles the cameras constantly. Keep her music box wound up to keep her at bay. Oh, I didn't see... I didn't pay attention to Poe moving, actually. Try that again. Yeah, if this is completely built from the ground up, I I'm actually kind of impressed. Now I heard that Poe wanders around the restaurant now instead of like being stay like staying in here. Okay, so I have to keep an eye. Oh, oh she's gone. Oh, that's because she's at the door. Will she kill me even if I do? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure because the power's going down really fast. Oh. Oh, hey Lala. How you doing? You know, I'm just going to keep this wound up. Because I have lost a significant amount of power. But if she does, but if she attacks me, regardless if I wind up the music box, then I'm gonna be angry. <laughs> I was completely unaware of her, actually. Will she kill me though? Even. Where is she? Hey there! How you doing? Oh, oh, there's Lala. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna make it because I've lost a significant amount of power. Okay, so Poe does not kill me if she's at the left door. But if I don't wind up the mu music box, she will kill me. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> oh. It's already 2 a.m. and I've lost a significant amount of power, but that doesn't matter. Oh, oh she's moved. Where is she? Oh. I'm not taking any chances. I like paper clips. Oh, I'm doing terrible at this, I swear. I like clicks. I like paper clicks. Oh. Oh, hey, Lala. Yeah, she doesn't make a noise when she's at the... Oh, I'm gonna die. You know, I want to see what happens when I... Whoa. Oh, this looks so ominous. <laughs> I, I have my speaker's uh, headphones volume turned down just in case. <laughs> You're limited to how much power you can use per shift. Don't run out. Okay. I like how it's giving me the tips. I think that was Tinky Winky who killed me. Gee, that's creepy. Alright, I'm not gonna mess up this time. I believe I do have some time before Lala uh, moves from this spot. Just gonna keep an eye on Poe until she leaves. So I don't need to worry about Lala until she's in these areas. Okay, so wind up the music box for Poe, and we're all set. <laughs> I think I made it to like 2am or like 3am. 
last try. Oh, yep, there she is. Yep, that's Lala moving. I really like this game so far, like this new version of the game so far. Because you actually have something to do. You have to like look for Poe on the cameras and then you have to wind up this music box to prevent her from trying to kill you. Oh, where is she? Poe? Oh, she's in the kitchen. And there's Lala. And I like how Lala has a different uh, pose for when she's at the door. I just want to know if Lala will actually run in through the uh, the repair hall. If she does, I will be angry. I will be really angry. Okay, there she is. Gonna close that. Where's Poe? Where's Poe? Okay, there she is. Okay, and that's her moving away. Okay, I like that. Okay, she's there. Okay, I, I think I've uh, got the hang of this now. It, it took me a bit of a while to figure out, but yeah. Oh. And I also like how the how the animatronics can Oh. Oh Tinky Winky has moved. Completely forgot about that. Oh, I don't think Tinky Winky will get to me in time before the night ends. I like paper clips. Ugh. Just in time. But it's 4 a.m. I've lost a significant amount of power already, but that doesn't matter. At least I was just in time. Oh, where is she? Oh, hey, Tinky Winky. All right, 5 a.m. We can do this. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, oh, they're all there. <laughs> Will the night end before before I run out of power, though? I, I just hope it does. Or before Tinky Winky... <gasps> Whoa! Ah, oh, no, I'm gonna die. How close was I? Like, how close was I? 
Oh my god, I did it! Oh my god! Oh, that was actually kind of difficult. Oh, I'm actually glad I got through that. Now, I'm not entirely sure if I want to go through the uh, second night because I, I like it. I like how this game plays. Well, this version of the game plays. I have to, like, manage power instead of, like, having to manage door power. So I have to... And I also have to look all over the place for Poe. So I don't need to worry about her if she's at the left door. I have to worry about winding up the music box because if that runs out, then she kills me. And Lala can just show up at my left door at any time. She won't, like, um, go straight into the room and kill me from another camera except the left door, which I like. I like how you acknowledge the uh, bug with Lala even though this game was built from the uh, ground up. And I also have to keep an eye on Tinky Winky, even though the phone guy did not tell me Tinky Winky was going to be active. But yeah, I like this new version of Tubby Land. I'm not sure if I want to continue with this version, because I want to finish the other version. Because I, I've i almost completed the game. I haven't completed Night 6 because of a bug. I have found, like, source code for the revamped version of Tabby Land, but I'm not gonna do any so sort of like thing with it like I did with Five Nights at Team Rocket, just in case. But yeah, that was Five Nights at Tabby Land uh, version 2.0, and quite frankly, I like it. Also, I think there's a surprise when you click on quit, right? What? Oh no. I, I thought there was going to be like a a new new jump scare or something when I clicked on quit, but yeah. Because apparently new new does not jump scare you in uh, the the main menu anymore, as far as I know. <laughs> he he kind of gave me a surprise when he did when I played the other version. Whoa! But yeah, if you want to play this version of Tabby Land for yourself. Uh, there will be a link f for it in the description below. You can also download the old version as well. I don't know how long that will stay up on the games page, but quite frankly, I like this. I like it really much. And also, my next game, I'm thinking about doing Five Nights of Wario's because I also did a, if you're unaware, I did a poll on Game Jolt showing which games I could play or if I could just continue with Pea Shooter Nights and so Five Nights of Wario seems to be uh, winning in votes alongside, let me check, uh, Jolly, Abandoned Discovery Island, Five Nights at Smudges Free and Five Nights at the AGK Studio, the others being Pea Shooter Nights like I mentioned, Five Nights at Tubby Land 2 and Five Nights at Team Flare HQ Reimagined. Those I will get to at some point. Now I've also heard that there's um, Five Nights of Wario's 5.0 so if you guys want me to play that instead of 2.0 I'd appreciate that because I was completely unaware that there was a new update for Five Nights of Wario's. So I guess that'll be it for this video. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you liked it feel free to comment down below, like and subscribe. You can do any one of those doesn't really matter and i'll be sure to see you all in the next video that i make so peace out